Do you wish you could also read all the books available on Kindle? But you don't have a Kindle ebook reader. There are literally millions of books available for the Kindle at prices much cheaper than in the bookshop. The truth is, though, that you actually don't need a Kindle tablet to read Kindle books. Amazon has made it easy for anybody to read Kindle books on your PC or Mac computer, on your Android or iPad tablet, even on your smartphone. All of these can read Kindle books. All you need to do is add the Kindle app to your computer or mobile device. On your mobile device, simply go to the App Store and search for Kindle Reader and install it from there. On your computer, it's a little bit more tricky, so let me show you how that's done. Go to Google and search for Kindle for PC, or if you're on a Mac, search for Kindle for Mac. I'm on a PC, so I'll search for that. Open the first link. That'll take you to the correct page on Amazon.com. Click the download button. Save the file to your downloads folder. Once downloaded, open the installer and the Kindle app will install on your computer. Once installed, you can run the Kindle app. It will ask you to log in using your Amazon.com login details. If you don't have an Amazon account yet, then you'll need to register at Amazon.com first. You can do that on their website over here. Your Amazon account lets you buy Kindle books and use the Kindle app. With your Amazon login details in hand, you can go back to your Kindle app and type them in and click register. Any Kindle book you already own will load into your library. To buy a Kindle book, go to Amazon.com. On the side, hover your mouse over the Kindle e-readers and books heading. Then click the Kindle book link from the pop-up. All the books here are Kindle books. On the left you can select the book category you're interested in, for example, Art and Photography. You can now drill down even further if you want. You can also use the search bar to type in what you're looking for. When you see a book that looks interesting, click its cover or title to read its description and buy the book. As you may have Kindle installed on more than one device, when you buy a book, you have the option to choose what will happen to your book when you buy it. In other words, you can select which device to deliver the book to. I always select Kindle Cloud Reader. Amazon then stores the book in the cloud for you. After buying, if you now go to any of your Kindle apps, your PC, tablet, any of them, you will see the book cover is in your library. The book cover will have a little cloud icon in the bottom right hand corner. This icon tells you that the book is available for download. Click the book cover and it will download to that device. Here you can see it tells you that the book is busy downloading. When the download is complete, click the book cover again to open the book. If you are on a PC or Mac, use the arrows to page through the book. You can add bookmarks and notes to your books. And while reading, you can set the font size bigger and smaller.
You can even change the color of the paper to suit your viewing preferences. There are many more cool features in the app, but I'll let you play around with them. To go back to your library, click the library button. Enjoy reading your Kindle books.